Welcome to the Liturgy of the Hours, a tradition of prayer whose origins date from the time of King David. Brought to you by the Confraternity of Penitents, the Liturgy of the Hours is the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God for all time. This is morning prayer for Thursday, week one of the 25th week in Ordinary Time. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, for He is our God. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him, singing for joy. Know that He, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to Him. We are His people, the sheep of His flock. Go within His gates giving thanks. Enter His courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to Him and bless His name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Come, let us worship the Lord, for He is our God. Awake, lyre and harp, with praise let us awake the dawn. Have mercy on me, God, have mercy, for in you my soul has taken refuge. In the shadow of your wings I take refuge till the storms of destruction pass by. I call to God the Most High, to God who has always been my help. May he send from heaven and save me and shame those who assail me. May God send his truth and his love. My soul lies down among lions who would devour the sons of men. Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongue a sharpened sword. O God, arise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. They laid a snare for my steps. My soul was bowed down. They dug a pit in my path, but fell in it themselves. My heart is ready, O God, my heart is ready. I will sing, I will sing your praise. Awake, my soul, awake, lyre and harp. I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples. Among the nations I will praise you. For your love reaches to the heavens, and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens. May your glory shine on earth. 
Lord, send your mercy and your truth to rescue us from the snares of the devil, and we will praise you among the peoples and proclaim you to the nations, happy to be known as companions of your Son. Awake, lyre and harp. With praise, let us awake the dawn. My people, says the Lord, will be filled with my blessings. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant coasts and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings. The grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep and the oxen, they themselves shall be like watered gardens, never again shall they languish. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. I will lavish choice portions upon the priests, and my people shall be filled with my blessings, says the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. My people, says the Lord, will be filled with my blessings. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain rises in beauty, the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion, true pole of the earth, the great king's city. God in the midst of its citadels has shown himself its stronghold. For the kings assembled together, Together they advanced. They saw. At once they were astounded, dismayed. They fled in fear. A trembling seized them there, like the pangs of birth. By the east wind you have destroyed the ships of Tarshish. As we have heard, so have we seen in the city of our God, in the city of the Lord of hosts, which God upholds forever. O God, we ponder your love within your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches to the ends of the earth. With justice your right hand is filled. Mount Zion rejoices. The people of Judah rejoice at the sight of your judgments. Walk through Zion, walk all around it. Count the number of its towers. Review all its ramparts. Examine its castles. That you may tell the next generation that such is our God. Our God forever and always, it is He who leads us. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Father, the body of your risen Son is the temple not made by human hands and the defending wall of the new Jerusalem. May this holy city, built of living stones, shine with spiritual radiance and witness to your greatness in the sight of all the nations. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. Thus says the Lord, The heavens are my throne, and the earth is my footstool. What kind of house can you build for me? What is to be my resting place? 
My hand made all these things when all of them came to be, says the Lord. This is the one whom I approve, the lowly and afflicted man who trembles at my word. From the depths of my heart I cry to you, hear me, O Lord. I will do what you desire, hear me, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Let us serve the Lord in holiness, and he will save us from our enemies. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Let us serve the Lord in holiness, and he will save us from our enemies. The Lord Jesus Christ has given us the light of another day. In return, we thank him as we cry out, Lord, bless us and bring us close to you. You offered yourself in sacrifice for our sins. Accept our intentions and our work today. You bring us joy by the light of another day. Let the morning star rise in our hearts. Give us strength to be patient with those we meet today, and so imitate you. Make us aware of your mercy this morning, Lord, and let your strength be our delight. Lord, bless us and bring us close to you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. All-powerful and ever-living God, at morning, noon, and evening we pray. Cast out from our hearts the darkness of sin, and bring us to the light of your truth. Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. This has been Morning Prayer for Thursday, week one of the 25th week in Ordinary Time. Morning Prayer is produced in Dallas, Texas, and brought to you by the Confraternity of Penitents, a worldwide Catholic association of lay people who pray the Divine Office daily as part of their rule of life. Sacred music has been provided by the Benedictines of Mary, Queen of Apostles, a monastic community of women who desire to imitate the Blessed Virgin Mary in the giving of herself to God. I'm David Rollins. Join us again weekdays as we continue to pray the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God for all time, the Liturgy of the Hours. <laughs>